club. I'm not a fake pastor. Why am I poor? Oh, we have paid tight. He said, Peter, I don't pay tight. Things are still tight. I give offering. I'm still suffering. <laughs> I was angry with God. There is no romance without finance. I want you to watch this video from the beginning to the end. There are a lot of things you will learn from this video. I will explain some things at the end of this video. Let's watch it now. Club, I'm not a fake pastor. Why am I poor? Oh, we have paid tight. He said, Peter, I don't pay tight. Things are still tight. I give offering. I'm still suffering. <laughs> I was angry with God. There is no romance without finance. The same person that was telling you it does not by money was now telling you, hey, you're not a man. And I said, but I told you why. I didn't lie to you. Mm. At least because, you see, so I tell people, I believe in full disclosure. I believe in honesty in everything you do. Mm. It will help you to quickly identify whether you are in the right place or in the wrong. So if I let you know as my woman that, look, I earn 500 every month. This is, what I, this is my paycheck. This is my account number. This is my PIN number. If you are asking for something of 800,000, you are not a wife. You are a knife. Hmm because you already know what I can afford. Mm -hmm. But if I didn't tell you, and you are assuming, because women and children always assume that their man and their parents are richer than they are. Hmm. Children will think that my father is powerful. My father is because they are children. They are looking from that perspective. Mm -hmm. A woman will believe that, ah, this man, he must have something somewhere. Mm -hmm. But when you open everything, this is my account number, this is my pay slip, oh, then you will now know that, oh, she will take you the way. Because many times people think women are after money. Women are not after money. They're after security and honesty. So when you tell a real woman, this is what I am, they will help you manage it well. Mm. They will stay within it, pray for you to grow. But the one that is not a wife will be asking for bone straight, even though her own life is not straight. Mm. She will be asking for bag and shoe to match. Her own destiny is not matching her bank account. Mm. Waiting, Papa and Mama, no fee give her. I expect you to come give her. Mm. I keep wondering. You mm. went to school, I went to school. You graduated, I graduated. You are working, I'm working. Seven years after graduation, you are meeting me. You want me to marry you. are asking me, do you have a car? Do you have a house? You, why don't you have a car? I've shaved all of us down the salary for seven years. <laughs> what did you do with your own money that I will now be the one to come and carry all the responsibilities of your life? Because a lot of things, you know, culturally, I don't know, a lot of things are not right. Because in this world right now, a lot of men are groaning under the load of financial this, take care of wife, take care of children, take care of family of wife, family. They are dying. Many of them have erectile dysfunction. Men don't can do, they are under stress. And there's some other women too, they are carrying load. The men are just sitting down there, useless. Six packs, he doesn't have six figure. All he has is muscular <laughs> prosperity. Hey. Nothing to show. So there's so much trouble out there. So by the time they now relocate mm. with all these jackpots in our Allah good start. Mm. Because many men in this part of the world have their identity is tied to their ability to provide. Mm. Mm. So once they are not able to provide, they believe that don't take man. So mm. those are just the, the things I was trying to say that look, as you are growing through life, make sure that you have clear understanding because once there is no money, there is no romance without finance. Interesting. You need money to fund relationships. So, so. Once the two of you come together, two has become one. It doesn't matter who brings the money. Mm. I am not a man because I am the provider. I am the man because it is my responsibility. The word husband is house band. Mm. is to keep the place together, to make sure everything is structured, everything is done the way it's supposed to be done. So you are a woman. Because if you look at all those words, male, female. Inside female, there is male. Mm -hmm. Man, woman. Inside woman, there is man. Because when God created mankind, the male and the female gender <clears throat> was inside mankind. So the creation of Genesis 1 is creation of mankind. Creation of Genesis 2 is creation of male and female. So male and female were now separated. So the man is a man. The woman is a man with a feeling. Mm. Feeling man. The woman is a man with a womb. Do you understand now? So you can't look at a woman and think that I'm better. No, no, no. That's male chauvinism. You are not better than a woman. A woman is not better than you. We have diverse functions. But when people now carry all this uh, feminism thing, they now carry it to the extreme. I am a feminist. What is feminism? Feminism is everybody should be treated equally based on the value they bring. Mm -hmm. That's feminism. It has nothing to do with relationship. So no matter how successful you are, once you enter the house, you are a wife. And the one thing I would say to people is this. The, the, the social media is called social media. There is private life, there is public life. Mm -hmm. The very minute you take your private life into public, don't blame us for complaining. <laughs> Uh, because family. we didn't come to your house to complain. The very minute you have brought yourself to public, you have given us the right to talk. So it's like somebody now, you know, this one that they will get married, they will say, I should be. So I buy I should be 70K. Mm. <laughs> Three months later, I don't divorce. Now they respect you. Now they respect my privacy. At this, at this trying <laughs> time. <laughs> Try to <laughs> tell us what happened. Please, uh, don't wear that cloth anymore. Well, let's, 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 yeah? 70K. <laughs> 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 
I pay for the clothes. I go wear them. You cannot say so. Because once you bring your case to the public, mm -hmm. then you cannot say people should not talk. Yes. People are entitled to their own opinion. You brought it to the public domain and that's why it's called public domain so that people can give their own opinion. It is their opinion. Whether it's right or wrong because if you look at the world we live in today, if you check the social media, you see that a lot of people are frustrated. Mm. Very, a very. lot of people are very daft, very unintelligent, very uncouth and with just 200 naira a time, 50 naira a time, borrow me credit, they will just be talking. I don't know, I was saying um, earlier on, you know, we're having a discussion with someone earlier today, and I was saying, that, have you noticed that when you post something online, and you say, okay, we're having a program on date, time, and venue, you start saying, so when is the date? <laughs> when is the time? That shows you that this person is an intelligent, an intelligent person. So once you have put it out there, you have given them the right to say whatever they want to say. If you are getting married, do you know that many of our parents, our mother were the one financing our father? Mm. Mm. We didn't even know. Our mother were the one. They say your daddy has paid your school fees, so thank your daddy, oh, but you're the one that brought the money. Mm. They, so, but why do you have to bring it out now? <laughs> you want to show that you are the one. You are, mm. Then you are the one creating the problem. If you have money, must it be wedding? Wedding is for a day, marriage is for a lifetime. Mm. A lot of people prepare for wedding, only few people prepare for marriage. And that's why you get into trouble. Wedding is just a day event. After that one day, what else? You finish, you spend all the money, no investment, nothing for the next generation. And then you now go back and say, which is a wizard are pursuing you, village people, when you are the one that has messed up your future by eating everything now. So I will not, anytime you take anything to public domain, whatever anybody will say, is their, is their right to say it. So there's nothing wrong in a man moving to a woman's house because once you marry, two has become one. Then every man has ego. But the only person that can undo the ego of a man is the woman that is in love with mm. and when the ego of a man is private it will be managed the only time the ego of a man can never stand is when you expose his ego to the public i can tell you for free there are many men whose wives have cheated on them they are still there they took the woman hey, why you do that now and i get it they go first they go keep the babe as long mm -hmm. as nobody's aware mm -hmm. the day somebody's aware that their wife cheated on them they would leave that marriage that's when ego comes up mm -hmm. if nobody knows they will just the baby, the baby go beg, uh, you know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, they go set one. Mm. So most egos become an issue when it becomes public because a man does not want to move around and be, somebody's looking at you, okay, you know, get my night wife as they leave. Uh, the way your wife cheats with her, you sit down there like mungu. Those are some of the things that we need to understand. Mm. So as far as I'm concerned, many times we have accepted the stereotypes of life mm. and most of those stereotypes are actually the exception. Oh, all men are bad. All men are not bad. All women are after money. All women are not after money. These are just stereotypes that we have accepted. There are good cultured people out there that are living right, doing right, live working hard. But because we celebrate all this evil, it now becomes the norm. And that's what everybody's looking for. That's Even Bible, we say, we, there's a part that says, I don't understand 100%, where it says, a man that cannot provide is worse than infidel. So a lot of people use it against their husbands. But that's not what that Bible is saying. Those mm. are the things that you see. That's not what it's saying. So, I don't know if we just open Bible. No, because see, many times we, we read all those things. You see, the Bible is talking about different things. So when you, when you look at Bible, the Bible talks about widows. Okay. And the Bible talks about different kind of widows. Okay. It says that there are widows that are young. If you are still young, go and remarry. Don't carry all your problems to church. Okay. But if you are a old widow that is so old, you cannot marry again. Let your family take care of you. But if you don't have any family, let the church now take care of you. Okay. Because if you have family, he that cannot take care of his own household is worse than an infidel. Oh. So if you have people within your family that you have the ability to help and you are not helping them, you are worse than an unbeliever. Because the Bible says that if a man comes to you to ask for bread and you have it, don't tell him to go and come back tomorrow. Give it to him. Because what is the purpose of money? Money is nothing but a tool for the fulfillment of purpose. You are too small to be the purpose of God for your life. Mm -hmm. So everything you are, you can't drive, can you drive three cars at the same time? You will drive one to enter the second one. You can't sleep on more than one bed. You have to remove one to, so any money you have, this is two. So to now cut it, either can I take it, we are just, we just create unnecessary problem for ourselves because that's the narrative that people have pushed. Once two people have come together, that's one unit. Therefore shall a man his father and mother and cleave to his wife. They two shall become one flesh. Once you have become one, any money that comes into that family is the household income. Mm. Whether it comes through the man or through the woman, it doesn't matter. Household income. But now, now say your money is our money. My money is my money. 
No. Uh, Any uh, money that comes is our money. It's the household income. Uh, now, whether the money comes through the man or through the woman, it's not anybody's business. It's our household income. Mm -hmm. It's like Nigerian budget. But now, a lot of women say, I'm the only one working. The man is not bringing anything. His salary is small. I have more money. Okay, will you rather that none of you have money? Mm. That you are poor and he's poor? If God is true, you bringing in the money, at least we are happy that money is coming to the family. Mm -hmm. And then we are working on ensuring that his own life also becomes better. Mm. Because why is it easy for you to chop his money when you are <laughs> jobless, but you cannot chop your own when you have the money? Mm. <laughs> Do you understand now? Yes. A, woman, a man will pick up a woman that is mm. jobless, no school, you go polish the babe, send and go school, pay school fees, take care of her, take care of her family, that is okay. But mm. a, man, a woman cannot pick a man. Mm. And sponsor the man through and help the man. The only woman we don't hold nine go feed one. Uh, even, well. even when the man send the girl go school, the girl will come outside and say, You're not my style. You're not my style. You're not my style. <laughs> you know how many people don't cry for church? <laughs> we no. don't spend money for the big because you are not educated. <laughs> now you have watched the video. I hope you enjoy watching the video because I also enjoy watching the video. If you want to gain access to the full video, let me know in the comment section. Comment send me full video and i will send you the link to the full video the things i want to talk about is this issue of finance finance in the marriage why are some ladies some females saying that their own money is their money but the husband's money is our money why this concept according to him he said that every money that enters the family belongs to the family. Whether it comes through the man or it comes through the woman. But there is a general misconception that the money that comes through the female is her own. But the money that comes through the man is our money. Why that? Especially in this part of the world. I want you to... I want to know your own opinion in the comment section. Let me know your opinion concerning this issue. Why is the female money is their own, but the men is our own? Why that concept? Let me know your own opinion in the comment section. All right. Then the next thing I want to talk about is you will see some believers, some Christians that born again they are giving tithe they are giving their offering yet they are still poor why you see this issue of finance money money is money have a principle and you have to learn it and learning the principle of wealth is what we call financial education if you are not financially educated, no matter what you do, you will still be poor. So, if you don't want to be poor, whether you are a Christian, you are a Muslim, irrespective of your religion, if you don't have financial education, you will still be poor. Let's look at it this way. Whether you are a Christian or whatever your religion, if you buy a car and you do not go to driving school, you do not go to learn how to drive, no matter the level of your anointing, you can't just enter and start driving the car just like that. You have to learn it. And that is exactly how money is. If you want to be wealthy, if you want to be financially stable, you have to learn it. You have to study finance. You have to learn it. And one of the people that really teach financial education is Robert Kiyosaki. You can look for his video. And you can also look for this uh, man's video, Dr. Emmanuel Lumide. He teach financial education. And another person that I follow a lot, especially about business and finance, is Dan Locke. You see these three persons that I mentioned, if you want to learn about finance, follow them. Subscribe to their YouTube channel, follow them on their social media pages, and you start getting understanding about 
how to manage finance, how to invest correctly. All right. Now, if you have knowledge of finance, irrespective of your religion, you will be okay. But some people capitalize on religion and will think that miracle will just happen one day and they will become wealthy. You see, this finance, sometimes it does not respect your, your religion because it's a principle. It's a principle like planting and reaping. If you plant, when it is time for you to reap, you reap. That is exactly how finance is. If you don't plant and you are there praying, praying that uh, money will just drop from heaven, money doesn't drop from heaven. You have to do something that will make money come. For instance, if you are a pastor, for the fact that you are a pastor doesn't mean you cannot do something. You can do something. As a pastor, you have a lot of knowledge. There is a way you can convert that, that knowledge to money. So if you are just sitting down there and going from house to house, you are depending on people to give you money. I think you, you are missing it. So irrespective of who you are, there is a way you can still make money. So study and learn it. You will know how to make money. Then another thing I want to talk about is, he said that as a husband, you are expected to disclose the amount you are making either as a salary or as a profit to your wife now i want to ask you in your own opinion is it correct is it right to disclose the amount you are making to your wife because in this part of the world it is not common let me know your own opinion in the comment section all right i will not tell you my own opinion now but let me know your own in the comment section is it right for you to disclose the amount you are making as a husband to your wife then the next thing i will talk about is social media you see social media is public whatever you bring to social media has become public so people can talk about it the way they feel but something surprised me these days is that you see some people bringing what is supposed to be private to the public. Please and please, anything that you don't want it to be public, then don't bring it to social media. Because anything that comes to social media is public. Then there is one important thing Dr. Emmanuel talked about that. I really learned it a lot from and that is wedding and marriage some people so much value wedding more than marriage itself wedding is one day but marriage is a life some people have they have so much value on that celebration they are their attention is only on the celebration and then by the time they enter into the marriage itself they fail. Please and please, if you are watching this video, what should be paramount is your marriage and not the wedding. Alright? Prepare for the marriage very well instead of preparing for the wedding. Though, you can do wedding if you have enough. But what is most important is the marriage itself. Because it is a lifetime. It is not one day. Wedding is only one day. But a lot of people are making this mistake. They only prepare for the wedding. They don't prepare for the marriage itself. So unfortunate. Another thing I want to talk about is that he also mentioned is, you see, there is this mindset that people have that a particular tribe is bad. I don't want to mention tribes. But all over you see that people saying that this tribe don't marry from there this tribe are bad this tribe are this this tribe are that i want to tell you in particular that there is no tribe that doesn't have bad people and there is no tribe that doesn't have good people there is no gender that doesn't have bad people 
you can see bad people among men you can see bad people among female you can see bad people among all tribe and you can also see good people in almost all tribe so remove this mindset from your mind that this particular tribe is bad there is nothing like that if somebody is bad it is him that is bad another tribe if a group of people are bad it is those specific people that are bad not the tribe so don't attribute bad things to a particular tribe i hope you have learned a lot from this video and ensure you share this video with all your friends on all your social media if you like it hit the likes button and ensure you subscribe to this channel on this channel i show you guys how you can get traffic for your product and services how you can run ads on facebook and instagram especially how you can grow your business online so if that is the kind of knowledge you want why not hit the subscription button so that anytime i upload videos that will help you grow your business you'll be notified and there is a particular video that i will show you somewhere here in that video i show you how you can boost your post on facebook using only phone so if you want to watch that video i leave the link in the description of this video and the video is also up somewhere here so ensure you tap on it and watch it now see you in the next video Bye.